Now, NATO will hold a meeting on North Korea's uh, nuclear and missile issues Thursday, the first meeting of such kind. According to Arquinsoa, the organization is expected to formulate a strong message of condemnation against the regime this week. The North Atlantic Council, which is the principal decision-making body of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, is scheduled to hold a special meeting on North Korea's nuclear and missile threats at its headquarters in Brussels on Thursday. What's noteworthy is that this will be the first NATO meeting exclusively dealing with this issue. According to South Korea's foreign ministry, NATO is expected to send a strong message of condemnation to North Korea based on the outcome of the meeting. The organization has released six such messages this year alone after the regime's nuclear and missile tests. NATO's plan to issue a strong message to North Korea at the forthcoming meeting is seen as a tangible result of South Korea's diplomatic activities to seek NATO's cooperation against the North Korean nuclear program. The ministry says the diplomatic activities include Foreign Minister Yoon byung says keynote speech at a high-level meeting of the German Atlantic Association in February, as well as a special address he gave at a North Atlantic Council meeting in October, with both calling for greater international cooperation against North Korea's provocations. South Korea's Vice Foreign Minister An Chong-gi will attend Thursday's meeting, where he is expected to call on NATO members to work together on the implementation of the UN Security Council's latest resolution 2321 and to intensify the pressure on Pyongyang. South Korea has had a partnership with the 28-member organization since 2006. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.